Good morning, we are so happy that you're here. We daily vlogs, we like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Today we are venturing to the north side in Fox River Grove to have a nice morning with our, our friends, um, Lauren, Mikey, and Lucy. Just like last year, Lauren is assisting me with last minute details of Halloween costumes for the boys. And so we're getting that. Peter is with us usually when I venture up here. Um, it's just me and the kids. And so I'm excited for Peter to be here. I'm just excited to see them because I love them so much. We've been seeing them a lot this fall and it's been fabulous. Um, and so today I promise to take the camera out more um, because sometimes when we're with them we just are enjoying ourselves so much that we forget. Rachel, so we got on, and him Did and Teddy are matchy matchy today. Lauren made these candy corns. I forget when, but she's got the most festive front lawn. For you. Oh. Hey Luke, you happen to be matching the boys. <gasps> what a coincidence. Wow. Wow. He might just like the balloons. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to open this? Boo! Boo! I didn't say a word. I just Oh gosh, I got her. Um, why is Teddy sleeping in the crib? I'm like, what? This is why Lauren is our people. <gasps> it's a bird! Tweet, 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 tweet! Oh, that's Daddy. That, that, that is. Uh, What's a bunny? I am. What's a bunny? What's a bunny? Everybody in here, you take this one. Go ahead. We have all of them. Oh. Lucy, look over here. Sit down ah. first, though. Jamesy. Oh. <laughs> Car ride home nap time. Well, we didn't do a great job at vlogging while we were there, but I think I was better than usual. Also, Lauren all, like hooks me up and like we'll be taking video and then she sends them to me and they're just additions to the vlog. Um, she knows that I forget to do it and she's she she's at the ready for that. She's got that eye. Yeah, she's 
She's just the best. When I say that, I mean it. She's truly the best friend I could ever, ever dream up in a friend. And, I don't know if you actually, what? Peter takes a mess set, I'm sorry. Okay, Peter and I truly are each other's best friends. And I don't throw the term best friend around lightly. <laughs> um, but she's, she's our best friend. I was starting to say, me and Lauren became friends on the very first day of college. And I was eating lunch alone on a bench, which I'm fine. I, I'm an independent woman. I like to, you know. And she came over and said, do you want to have lunch at my apartment? And I was like, where do you live? And she was like, right down the street. <laughs> and so I went over to her apartment, and then I went over to her apartment every other day um, in college. And that is how our friendship started, because she was just like, that is just her in a nutshell, just thoughtful and caring and kind and loving. And it's just so cool that our families get to be chosen family to each other. So we had a lovely time. We had chili for lunch. Um, kids were all toast and so we're headed back to the city now and I'll show you more of the presents that they got James when we get home. Oh my goodness gracious it's so crisp in the market being built. It is a crisp Kindle market by definition however it might have a different title as yeah, Peter said. All the way up to the gate. <laughs> oh these people are happy. And an event. there's like a there is like a motorcycle event. There's a carrot. There's a trolley. That actually, I think, might be the trolley from our wedding. That's there's a, a carrot right here. A person dressed up. B R O C C O L I. I am the broccoli and don't know why. C A R R O and the T. Carrots are healthy for you and me. TV safe camera across the street. What the? There's probably Halloween something going on. That's what it is. is Comment there? below if you know what my song is from. And if this is Second City Trolley, that is our trolley from our wedding day. I was getting the gifts that James got set up to show you. He ran over to play with that. Learning Friends 100 Words book. Wow. Wow. Words. So we got Catch these the jammies there. So soft. You better believe he's going to be wearing these on November 1st. He also got a Grinch shirt. Some bluey jammies. Two pairs. Aren't they so stinking cute? Also this train that drives itself like it moves so it can attach to his other trains and be the locomotive. And then a huge Mickey Mouse sticker activity book. Um, that is actually still in the car. We had our hands full coming in and that that didn't make it in. Um, but so sweet, so kind, so, so fun. Like, again, like I feel like this is truly the start of our celebrating James E turning two, two years old. The quickest little dinner thrown together. Looks delicious. We got pico de gallo. We got chips from Trader Joe's that are so delicious I can't even I, my mouth is salivating. What are they called? Like elotes, like street corn flavored corn chips. We got guac, we got black beans. We got roasted potatoes. Again, a Trader Joe's frozen bag classic. We got rice cooked in a can of tomato, like diced tomatoes. Um, what else is in here? Some salsa verde it looks like. And soy chorizo. You guessed it from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Peter said I sounded like an infomercial. You took off your bib. So we are at Block 37 on State Street. And we are going to go check out the Art After Dark. Arts After Dark. Arts After Dark Halloween event parade. on State Street. There's a parade. Yes, and maybe we've never some met. Artsy fartsiness going on. Yes, it goes from Van Buren to Lake, headed north. So we're at the end. Um, yeah. There's people out, so we gotta find a spot. I didn't think there would be this many people. I just got freaked out about Marshall Fields' windows. Woo! The horns are up. We think it's actually going south. I think I think we're right at the beginning.
All right, so this was absolutely incredible. Like but the very best thing? Yes. The horns being out. The absolute best thing. I love Halloween. I love the Ilo Los Muertos. But Christmas on State Street, that great street. The holidays arriving at Macy's. Marshall Fields and Co. We're like 70% way through the parade, but this little man woke up from a nap and he needs a little snack, and then we're gonna try to beat the crowd heading back to our neighborhood. Teddy. Teddy had a snack. James is chilling with Miss Rachel right now. Oh, just decompressing. Decompressing before we take the elevator down to the basement, because here at Block 37, the basement has the red and blue lines. Red and blue, right? Blue? We're gonna take the red line back to our neighborhood, stop at Target to maybe get a Christmas candle. We're, we're ready. We're ready, yeah. Let's Christmas it. I'm thinking like, should we do preliminary work tomorrow? Like get boxes out of both, kind of like take the Christmas stuff out of the boxes so that like, so it doesn't take up too much time on James's birthday, but we utilize some time on Chris James's birthday. What do we do it after the kids go to sleep? After Halloween. So they wake up to a winter wonderland. In the words of Ben Earhart, look at that bokeh. That bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. Ha <laughs> ha, Teddy. Teddy? Is that my teddy bear? What you doing? You hanging out with your mom? Hey, I'm downtown, Dad. I'm downtown. You're a city kid? Kid and Mickey? Target's got their Christmas game out. Yes. Oh my gosh. We are in Target. Look at all these holiday cheer. Hanukkah, Rugrats, Grinch. Abu. 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 Jamesy won't stop. <laughs> tickle, 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 and Teddy. <laughs> so Peter tickled him. Toothbrush wow. time. When did they put James down? All of a sudden it's 12.30 in the morning. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming asleep. It's good to be home. Good morning. I'm so happy you're here. This is a two-parter of our Halloween weekend. This is from... I already know what it is because it says on the outside. Are you but excited? Sarah does not, yeah. Okay. Oh, she's gonna love it. This is from our friend Maria. Thank you so much. Completely unnecessary. You got James and the giant peach on. Oi! Maria F says, Happy birthday. <laughs> wow! Oh. My. <laughs> that boy dances! You want to play a game with me? Oh! Right here. <laughs> Let's play again! Yeah, we got James Z in the stroller, Teddy in the carrier. It's gonna be like partly beginning of birthday and Halloween festivities, and also partly, oh, this is fun, and partly organizing, cleaning up for the next two days of actual festivities. So I think we said it in the other vlogs that Broadway, this street, has trick-or-treating today from 12 to three to go into the stores like we did last year, and then Halstead was yesterday, like one to three or something along those, those lines. We're not sure and we don't think the residential area actually does trick-or-treating where we live because um, it's too many so mostly apartment buildings and then like fenced insecure like three and four flats um, but there's two days of actual trick-or-treating so the kids are going to go trick-or-treating today on broadway 
and we have to go run and pick up a few things this morning for James's costume, some hair gel, and just a few other last minute things while Sarah's getting ready. So we're gonna do, go on this little walk, go to some stores, enjoy some fall colors, go back home, get ready for trick-or-treating. And then I think after trick-or-treating, it'll be like productive, cleaning the apartment, preparing dips, maybe grocery shop. I think we have to go grocery shopping because we're supposed to bring some dips tomorrow to the south side. Our first stop is Walgreens to get some styling gel for James for his costume. The world knows it's coming. James got a little balloon action. Says happy birthday. Oh yeah. All right, Whole Foods is done. We still have the balloon, it survives. We got stickers, we got cookies, we got beer. We got taco dip for lunch. It's time to get ready for some trick or treating. Oi! I never saw Draco Malfoy being so nice to Harry Potter before. Gotta pin your little. Hey! Hey, Draco. Was your Nimbus 2001, huh? What do you think? Wow. Hello, the chosen one. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good one. Uh, one. Alright, so Teddy's got his stick. He's also Teddy's the first... Wand. His wand, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teddy's got his wand. First time he's also been in the big kid's seat, which means we should probably just switch the other one. And retire the bassinet. We got Malfoy here. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go trick or treating. Ooh, look at that spooky guy. Ooh. First stop. Still getting the trick or treating aspect down. Thank you. Yay! Trick or treat. Such a beautiful day. It's actually a little warm today. Little warm, but very enjoyable. Well, it seems we uh, this is our union sanctioned candy breaks. We must sit on the sidewalk. I mean, he's confused. Like, I have candy. I'm gonna eat it. So. The Starburst Get more. Get more. Yeah. Thank you. Say, 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 thank you. Say, say, thank you. This one? Thank say you. trick or treat. Trick or treat. A little nervous. Jamesy is a little confused about trick or treating because he wants to eat the candy, um, and then he's also a little shy, so he doesn't want to take the candy himself. But I think I think he's figuring it out now, seeing the other seeing the other kids do it. Teddy is Teddy is asleep. I'm kind of pumped about getting to the, the, the bookstore. Thank you, because you know books. Oh, Sh Chicago Sugar Daddy is playing Nightmare Before Christmas. What do you think? I said I had to show this because it's it's playing Nightmare Before Christmas. Very exciting day in the neighborhood. James is knocking on Laugh Factor's door like it's a cheesy knock knock joke. Oh, he's got to roll up his sleeve for his candy. That's so our 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 tip and trick for two year old trick or treating is have a sucker at the ready so they're distracted, but they keep on moving. So that that's been our solution and it's worked fabulously. Yeah. Right now we like feel good and we don't want to push it too hard, so we decided yeah, to turn. To right. Oh gosh, <gasps> I I want to do, do that. Do. Yeah, because people say Peter looks a lot like a fair. Um, but we saw this little advertisement for holiday stuff in our neighborhood. We were both like. They were looking at our yeah, costumes. So distracted by their amazing <laughs> costumes. And I love that they have the car and the music. We're gonna basically comment. Copy that. Well, well it's not copying if we already had that idea. Yeah. But that's that's good. But he's in a good spirit and he's yeah. happy. So we're actually not gonna do as much trick-or-treating as we might have because we want him to get home in a good spirit and yes. get home toast or fried. Right. <gasps> do you toast. see Teddy? Yeah, he's so silly he's looking with that silly. skull. Oh gosh, let's go to the oh, Ready, Jamesy? Ready? Ready? Whee! <laughs> 
Yeah. You are being very risky with your white shirt that we need tomorrow. Look who's awake. Gotta hoist him. Yeah, he's very happy. <laughs> he's a happy kid. Uh-oh. Somebody just realized they had gel in the hair. Also, the sand pit at our local uh, park got filled up. So that's kind of cool. But also got, it hasn't been rained on yet, so James is like freaked out at how like fluffy it is. All right, we are making our jackfruit, which is supposed to be like a jackfruit burnt ends kind of situation. We have the jackfruit here with some peppers, seasoning, liquid smoke, Worcestershire. We're going to put some vegetable stock in here. It's a bit of a process, but it sounds like it's going to be delicious. So this is going to simmer and soak for 45 or 75 minutes. That's the recipe. We'll link it down below. Um, so it's going to simmer in this while it reduces, and then after like 45-ish minutes, it'll go on a pan, and we'll um, then like put it in the oven, and it'll be smoked then. It smells delicious. All right, here is the jackfruit with it all reduced. Looking very good, looking very pulled porky kind of. This is going to go into the oven at 350 for 75 minutes to make it that burnt end, or at least until it's all reduced, and then we toss it in some barbecue sauce. Now we got some Brussels sprouts seasoned up. We're going to get those going. They're going to get roasted, and then we're going to put um, like a maple syrup over that. Here is what the jackfruit looks like. I'm going to toss it in this County Line Orchard Honey Habanero BBQ that we got when we went to the Apple Orchard a couple weeks ago. So it gets tossed and gets put back in the oven for another like 10 minutes. What are you eating? I missed what he put in his mouth, so I don't know if it was a Brussels sprout piece or a tomato piece. Is this what it looks like when you've got Halloween hair and skip naps? Or is this what it looks like when you have Halloween hair and you skip naps? Here's the finished Brussels sprouts with like a maple glaze. Sarah's coleslaw. She's dishing up her sandwich now. And uh, you said that you tried it and it's delicious? Very good. I don't recall the last time I picked up the camera today. Um, since dinner, we have done bath time, bedtime, and now we are just doing <laughs> our <laughs> typical catch up. Peter doing dishes, I'm folding laundry, which that's what we thought we were going to be doing all day. Like today, we thought that it was going to be like more low key day. We'd get this stuff during the day, but as usual, it's once the kids go to bed. So. Peter's in the kitchen, I'm in here. I've got Hocus Pocus on. Um, it's about 10.30, so not super duper late, but not super early either, so. Um, yeah, we'll see. See how much we get done before, before we crash. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>